Hi, it's Nerdy and welcome to 2015. I hope you all had a very happy New Year's. I certainly had a good break over the holiday period, but I'm back now with more cooking, crafting and DIY videos. It's still summer here in Australia and one thing that I really wanted this summer was my own flower crown. I've seen people wearing them and I thought that they were really fun and pretty. But when I went to the shops to look for them, all I could find was really boring and plain looking ones. So I decided to make my own flower crown, of course. If you'd like to see how I made it, keep watching. For this project you will need some fake flowers, some florist wire and some florist tape. You can get florist wire that comes in pre-cut lengths like this or you can get it on the spool. These flowers cost me $2.50 for a bunch and there's about 10 flowers per bunch. I'm going to use three or four of these bunches in this project. The first thing I'm going to do is gently pull on the head of the flower to remove it from the stem. You'll be left with a flower that has a small hole in the middle that goes through to the back. I've pulled the flowers off three of the bunches and I've also got some leaves which have a hole in the middle as well so they're suitable for this project. Taking a piece of the florist wire I'm going to make a small loop in the end and then I'm going to twist it on itself. The loop needs to be big enough to not go through the inside of the flower. Now I'm going to take one of the flowers and thread the wire through the centre. Because of the size of the loop on the inside, it doesn't pull all the way through. Now I'm going to repeat this for all of the other flowers. Make a loop. And then thread it through the centre. Here I've got all of the flowers on wires. I may not end up using all of these, but it doesn't hurt to have them ready to go. I'm gonna take the first two flowers and work out how far I want them apart. And then I'm simply going to twist the second flower around the stem of the first. Because they're on wire, I can position the flowers how I want them. Now I'm going to take the next flower and do the same thing. Just twist it around both of the wires. And again, I can position the flower however I want. I'm going to continue to do this with all of the flowers until it's approximately as long as I need it to go around my head. I've added five of each type of flower and now it's long enough to go around my head. I've just got to join the wire at the back. So what I'm going to do is twist this long end of wire around in between each of the flowers. This is what the crown currently looks like and because each of the blooms is on its own wire I can position them however I need. If there's any gaps I can always go in with another flower and add it as needed. Now that I've added all the flowers the crown is really full unlike any that I've seen in the shops but because of all the flowers the wire is really thick and if I left it like this it would catch on my hair. So what I'm going to do is take the florist tape like this and if you stretch it out it activates the glue and I'm going to wrap it around the wire. This is what the wire looks like when it's wrapped and now it won't catch on my hair anymore. I added a few more leaves and I'm really happy with how this turned out. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is how my flower crown turned out. It's really full and over the top, but it's exactly what I wanted. 
As always, written instructions can be found on my blog. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you decide to make your own flower crown, I'd love to hear about it. You can leave a comment below on my blog, on Twitter or on Tumblr. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe. I make new videos every Wednesday. See ya!